Hello world, I'm Anna Awaja. I'm 14 years old from Gaza. I write short stories both in Arabic and English on my Instagram page, Whispers of Gaza, reflecting true events that happened during war. And today I'm going to tell you my own story about my globe-shaped chandelier. During the early days of the war, I lay on my bed, exhausted, gazing at the chandelier hanging from the ceiling of my room, shaped like a globe. It had been unlit since the war began, and I missed it deeply. I hadn't seen my home for many, many months, and the walls of my room in our new house, which we moved into two years before the war began no longer provided me safety. War had driven me away, but I still remember the day we were setting up our new home. I went out with my father to buy a chandelier for my room. My eyes wandered among the various shapes of chandeliers, all beautiful, until a globe-shaped one caught my eye. It felt just right. I nudged my father's shoulder and whispered, There it is! I want it! Please, I want this globe! Amidst his surprised look, he said, All right, it's yours! And told the shop owner, I want this un unusual chandelier for my dear daughter. She's Anna, my spoiled little girl. I returned home very happy. I brought it because I believed that my room was my big world. Whenever I lay on my bed, I looked at it and I said to myself, how can a world this big not hear us? How can this vast humanity not feel us? After seven months of witnessing all kinds of injustice, death, betrayal, oppression, and displacement, for a moment, or perhaps for a few months, or maybe many, I believed we were left alone. Many saw us but with closed eyes and heard us with blocked ears. But now, we have begun to hear you well. Your voices have reached us late. Maybe because we started getting used to the sounds of war, bombings and planes. And we began to explore new sounds. We hear you. We hear your voices coming from universities as you chant for the freedom of Palestine and from the streets as you hum old Palestinian songs. We hear you through your posts that roam social media constantly. Your voices are beautiful and your hearts are big enough to contain the size of our sorrows and sufferings. And your conscience is still awake. Thank you from the heart. I no longer see it, my globe-shaped chandelier, but it will always remain a symbol of hope and connection to the world, even in the darkest of times. Give.